Hello everyone, it's me Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the rest of my TBR for August. Uh, I'm also doing the Newts readathon. So I don't know if you're super interested in that, but if you are, I'll leave a little clicker up at the top. You can watch that whole thing. I will be telling you the books that I plan to read for that in this video. I'm just not gonna do synopsises again because like that is just too much and uh but there are but there are a couple other books that i'm planning on reading outside of that readathon that i'd like to talk about today just a couple let's see to go over what i'd like to read for my new a couple of these books i don't have yet i'm waiting on an order from amazon so uh the first one i guess i'll talk about is something borrowed something blood soaked by Krista Carmen. This is a short story collection. My cat is playing with a piece of paper. I'm so sorry. She's my little shadow. Uh, Something Wild, Something Blood Soaked by Krista Carmen. This is part of the Bloody Beach read along for August. I'm also reading A House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mallerman. I'm reading Blackbirds by Chuck Wendig. The Gilgul by Henry Hotcherman, Gideon Falls, Volume 1, Wilder Girls by Rory Power, and one of the prompts is also to listen to an audiobook. So for that, I'm going to do the audiobook for And I Darken by Kirsten White. This will be a reread for me uh, because I read this first book when it first came out, and now the series is like done and I still haven't read the second book even. So I want to reread this one. It was very political. And so I'm worried that there's like some things I will not remember if I just read the second book like full on. So I'm going to listen to the audiobook of this to refresh my memory before I read the second book at some point, hopefully soon now. So those are the books for my newts. And then I have, like I said, a couple other books that I would like to read this month that are not part of the newts. So the first one here I'd like to talk about is Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. I think we all know what this is about. Scientist, genetically engineer, using dinosaur DNA to recreate dinosaurs, tech or something, something science, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> This is part of a goal that I made for myself this year. I'd like to try to visit some of the books by authors I have not read yet, but have like collected more than one of their books. A good example of that would be Adam Neville. I have four of his books now and I've never read a single one of them. <laughs> why I don't even know if I like his books so I've done that with Michael Crichton here um so I made a goal to at least read two of his books that I own I read Eaters of the Dead already so this will be the second one Jurassic Park and I'm hoping I like this more than I liked Eaters of the Dead because I didn't really like that at all next I'm reading The Ritual by Adam Neville. This is a book I wanted to read to get some summer vibes possibly. I'm not really sure when this book takes place, like the setting, but um, it is about a group of friends. They get together to do a hike. I feel like I watched the Netflix Thing, and I feel like they were getting together because one of their friends had died, but I'm not sure if that is also how it happens in the book. But they're taking a hike and things get super ooky spooky. And I don't really, I don't know. I, I'm worried about saying too much if I give like a synopsis, because like I said, I did watch the Netflix movie. I'm not sure how much of that is true to the book, but I don't want to accidentally give anything away. But I just get, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this takes place during summer, but I get summer vibes because of like the hikey survival horror thing that's going on. Um, I guess we'll see how this, how this plays out. I'm also reading another Adam Neville book this month 
that is last days which i will leave a picture to right here because that's actually part of that stupid amazon order that is supposed to come in today and hopefully it does this is about a documentarian who is hired to film a documentary about this cult and like that's all i really know about it that is all i really want to know about it i want to go into this thing blind i want to be surprised by it i've heard lots and lots of good things about this book so i'm very excited about it all right and the last one for this month is the second book for the bloody beach read along in august it's part of that stupid fucking amazon order i haven't got yet but it's kill river two so i have the first one here it looks kind of like this it has the same nice art which i think the author did himself and i really appreciate it it's like the perfect campy slasher horror cover um now kill river was kind of middle of the road for me so i'm hoping kill river 2 is a little bit better um, being that it's a sequel, I don't want to say too much, but Kill River 2 picks up um, with one of the survivors of Kill River and I don't, I don't want to say anything more than that. It's a sequel, but I thought that this was a really great summer read and so I'm going to assume that Kill River 2 will be just as summery because really Kill River just like embodied like summer camp theme park it was perfect all right that's all I have to tell you about I think my July TBR was a little too ambitious with like what I had going on that month hopefully August won't be as bad I've got some shorter books I've got an audiobook and hopefully everything goes down real well. I guess we'll have to see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching everybody. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've loved, hated any of these. Let me know if you're taking part in the Newt's readathon or the Bloody Beach read along. Let me know how you liked Kill River if you read it or I Call Upon Thee if you read it last month. Yeah. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.